Lately, a lot of you have been asking how I keep my nails in shape. Today, I will show you how I keep them healthy and strong through all of the torture I put them through. First things first, after each manicure, I remove my polish with non-acetone remover. If you paint and remove your polish as much as I do, this may be more beneficial to your nails in the long run as it's less harsh than the pure acetone, but non-acetone does do an awful job removing some pesky glitter polishes and nail glue. Sometimes after a dark mani, my nails will look a little yellow and just plain gross. So when I have the time, I'll do a tried and true lemon soak. I pour some water into a small dish and sometimes if I have it, I'll add a little seltzer water for extra fizz. Then I microwave it until it's warm. In the meantime, I just cut my lemon into thin slices real fancy like. Once the water is warm, but not boiling, I add in a little less than a full tablespoon of baking soda and stir it up. Then I add in the lemon slices and I usually soak my nails for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you wash your hands after you do this soak because the baking soda can leave a residue. Now that my nails are squeaky clean, it's time to shape and trim them. I always just use a crystal nail file because the grit is much finer, so it's easier on your nails. Sometimes if my nails are really flaky, I buff the tips, but just a little bit. In my opinion, this part of my routine is most crucial. My go-to cuticle product is plain old coconut oil. I massage it into my hands and just let it soak in. For a more precise treatment, I like to use this Moroccan oil because it has a cute little dropper applicator so I can control how much and where it goes. If my cuticles are in really bad shape and my hands entirely need extra help, I use Burt's Bees Hand Salve. I find that the thick formula really helps hydrate and soften my dry skin. When my nails and skin are all soft and moisturized, I wash them off and apply a base coat. My holy grail product for this is the Sinful Colors one because it's dirt cheap and every time I wear it, it makes my nails whiter. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if it's because it has a milky white color, but it genuinely makes my nails look fake. And that pretty much does it. Now my nails are prepped and ready for whatever crazy design I have next. If you found this video informative and helpful, please leave me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thank you for taking the time to stop by and I will see you next time.